I'm a really keen football player and football supporter and I was told when I was very small that I would never be able to play for Leeds United because I was a girl and this really made me very, very cross and that seems rather trivial but I think at some level this sense of um, indignation that you know women weren't allowed to do certain things that men were allowed to do kind of gave me that I think emotional impetus to, to look at women's history and gender history, which I think you need as a historian. I mean, all historians have an emotional engagement with what they study, and they need that, really, I think, to engage with it properly. I think it was an interest in women's history and gender history, and crime particularly, that got me interested in the history of witchcraft. Because if one looks at the statistics for the early modern period, the 16th, 17th century, we can see that somewhere around 75 to 80% of all of those persecuted for witchcraft were indeed women. And there's a kind of a variety of reasons that explain that gendering. One is a generally patriarchal, some might even say misogynistic, nature and structure of society, for example, religion, believed that women were inferior to men, more susceptible to sin, more likely to give in to the devil. So one central idea in the history of witchcraft is that people made pacts with the devil and thereby became witches to do the devil's bidding. Um, and one way that the devil seduced people was through uh, a sexual uh, encounter and as long as the devil was imagined in a in a male form then it was much easier to imagine sinful weak women giving into that demonic temptation and quite a lot of the elite thinking around this centers on that idea of women being sexually seduced by the devil uh, in order to become witches uh, and being less able to resist his temptations because they were irrational and weak and lustful I think History Essex is, is distinctive for various reasons. So, for example, working on the history of witchcraft, as I do, uh, some people might think, well, that's quite marginal, surely. But actually, looking at witch trials gets one into um, looking at gender history, political history, legal history, the history of religion very profoundly. So it's a really interesting way in to the big issues of the early modern period. I think looking at any historical event or problem makes people realise that it's never as simple as it looks. Recognising that just about anything you encounter in life is extremely complex and being able to work out a way of handling that complexity, I think you get that with history in a really, really um, important and profound way.